official look at the match card to the unofficial quadruple by November that is tonight's episode of Wrestling Wednesday. Former women's champion, former world champion, puts it all on the line against the 73-year-old uh, uh, Ricky Flair child. Been on the Indies for a good spare part of these last 60 years, and he's real excited to get cracked at professional wrestling here in Guadalajara. Uh, welcome to Mexico, Ricky. Wrestling fans, welcome. To Rasslin Wednesday. I hear you idiots think Superbolt made me evil. That's rich. That guy has the evil potential of a Disney bunny. The real credit goes out to an LBD's premier evil daddy. Evil. Papa Papa Ash. Ash. What better evil role models could a guy ask for? Everyone knows Trent worked with the North Koreans for years. What they don't know is that his orphanages are organ farms for super rich cheese berries looking for immortality. Ash. Ash summons demons for fun and starts cults like most people start lawnmowers. Everything I do, I do for my evil daddies. Evil daddies. Like taking a championship belt. That will make them proud. And if that doesn't do it, there's always singles. We're getting our first look inside of the dealership right now as Epic Set makes his way down the ramp in Guadalajara, Mexico. The evil daddies are in fact in the building. You can tell by the music that the Dark Arts Princess is definitely in the building. But wearing the American trucks right now on Thanksgiving Eve is your new and all the be world's champion, Mark by Cloudy. And of course, the woman he defeated 14 days ago in an all the be 21 no quarter, the Dark Arts Princess, Mike Pitt's wife, Amanda Flynn. She's making her way down the ramp here in I hope she doesn't trip, she probably will. Ah, yes, and that's the music of a professional res. Oh, God! Oh, God! This is, he looks particularly intense tonight. That is not the peppy step I would have expected from this wrestling music. Here comes the little orphan boy. He destroyed the Intercontinental Championship, and now he wants a piece of the world's championship. And here comes Evil Daddy number one, Ashen Field X. Dressed in his finest daddy attire, the two-time Intercontinental Champion. Adopted the little orphan boy originally from an orphanage. Orphanage that was run by this man right here, two-time and all DP World Champion, Trent Brendergast, also wearing his finest daddy attire. As referee Frank McGillicuddy rings the bell, we got a little bit of a rematch of the title fight that the Dark Arts Princess won. She beat Trent Prendergast, my bitch wife, to be the two-time world champion at Wrestling Wednesday, of course. She immediately lost that belt because she's a pathetic transitional champ um, that we obviously could not build a company around. Anybody could see that. Uh, she just doesn't have what this evil daddy right here does. Of course, things between myself and the Predator has game particularly, uh, touch and go! That's the new champ and the former champ! Showing that they can team up the chesties! Just took on the Rub Orphan with some high-flying kicks! That was incredible action! From the Dark Arts Princess and a suplex! Picking up that 900-pound steel titanium frame! The Orphan Boy, don't forget his soft spot is that little green diaper he wears. It's made entirely out of aluminum foil and spray paint. I'm not sure why Ash designed him that way. He's gonna tag here on Trent, the man who ran his orphanage. And Trent, you do what you gotta do to my bitch wife to get this win, okay? And right now, Ash and Field X, don't forget, after he uh, adopted the orphan, the orphan was then um, uh, shot by a, res a, a wrestling fan who was, we never found the guy and he was trying to murder 
Uh, of course, Curly Tutors, uh, because he's such a piece of shit. It's a long story. It feels weird saying it now, given that he hasn't been around in a while. And so, like, why did everyone hate this guy so bad? But we did. So anyway, the little orphan boy with a heart of gold took a bullet for Curly Tutors. Then he may or may not have been murdered on the operating room table by my bitch wife, Amanda Flynn. Ashenfield X then using... Uh, his his tech his old man wizard technomancer powers to raise the orphan from the dead. And that's why when you gaze upon him today, he is a 900 pound steel plated titanium killing machine who wants a crack at the Analdi P World Championship. We have breaking news, wrestling fans. He has said he is willing to not destroy the belt. Given the fact that we have now, and we can now announce at this time officially, your next on All DP World's Championship match, a triple threat match between the chesties of the Robo Orphan, Amanda Flynn, and fuck my cloudy. To be clear, they will not be teaming up in this match. The two people who have attacked the Robo Orphan most in his life take on the Robo Orphan for the All DP World's Championship. That's going to be two weeks from today at Wrestling Wednesday. Lions up on Epic Time! Amanda Flynn, the Dark Arts Princess, getting the rematch that she does not deserve. As we see Amanda Flynn, she's up top, and she just nearly jerked Trent's arm out, and Claude the Chesties are teaming up for a spear super kick. And the Robo Orphan's new uh, uh, prime directive, if you will, may simply be to injure his opposition. He got to get a win right here. He nearly just pinned the champ. I have been sitting quietly in a living room exchanging niceties with my mother-in-law for the better part of 72 hours. Here's a big DDT. This is lightning bolt. Surely she's coming to help the Dark Arts Princess Amanda Flint. Here comes the pile driver. Let's get it done. Trump Prendergast Wrestling. But no, Frank, you can't let them all run out there like that. She's locking up with the Rub Orphan. Big vertical suplex. She's going to use the ropes, but Cloudy, I think, Oh no! He dragged out! It was perfect! No! Robert, they did it! That was enough! That was enough incredible teamwork from the Chesties! Because that pin would have happened too close to the ropes! But Cloudy moved the opponent for Flynn to make the pin! And the Chesties team up! They work well together. Will they work well together in a triple threat match? But don't go anywhere, wrestling fans. Because we're about to find out what is going through Super Bowl 1985's head. The rain shows it all. My sadness. My rage. There has only been one. Thrice we have gone head to head and thrice he has bested me. Once friends sharing tea together, then mortal enemies. How have I fallen so far? Can I even get in the ring with him? Yes, there there must be a way. I, I look around me at all the faces and I realize a new journey has begun. One, to prove that I can climb the obstacles. My first trial? Cloudy. Take him down, and maybe, just maybe, the one will notice. Maybe we can be whole again. Super Bowl 1985 has moved into the hardcore division to go after the man thrice defeated, to get a man's attention. Doing anything for a man's attention is a terrible reason. You should have your own motivations for doing things, Super Bowl 1985. You're what right now with a surprise victory in the buy-in of an all DP 21 no quarter taking on epic debt. And here we go, it's a suplex! And the jam's bleeding all over that barbed wire! A big drop kick, it doesn't land though. Bolty's gonna get back into this now. We're into a roll up again. I think he might have just done it. Remember, this match will end in a draw at the 20th minute, and the champ Derwood will retain. And I can't imagine uh, a, a draw where, where you don't get the title would be enough to get 
to get any man's attention. Not any man that would be worth your time, frankly. This would, in fact, finish his collection of belts. He's a two-time IC, he's a former tag, he's a former world champion. Who's gonna bring it home here? Another one, we got 90 seconds to go into the sharpshooter. Is Multi gonna tap? Long. He is! The champ he's retains! The champ retains! Derwin wins! Derwin wins! Well, no man is gonna ring. notice a loser! Super Bowl 1985! Catch my breath, wrestling fans. Welcome to Guadalajara, Mexico. Welcome to the dealership camp. You can tell I've been shouting a lot tonight. But we're getting our first look tonight at the man who uh, the smart money says is in fact going to be the next tag team champion. They're the favorites in Vegas tonight. Of course, getting our second look tonight. The other half of the Bolts, Lightning Bolt, and 14 days ago won the number one contendership to the Intercontinental Belt that, of course, was destroyed at Mount Doom by Gaul. And speaking of Mount Doom, here's a mountain to climb. The King of Brawl, King Phil, is making his way down the ramp here in Guadalajara, Mexico for the second time ever. And this time he's doing it as the defending tag team champion. Joined, of course, by Anoldi P's longest reigning world champion, the most title defenses as world champion, and now tag team champion, Big Grease! Lightning Bolt and Big Grease, two OGs of the associated North American leagues of Digital Park, dating back to the days when the show took place in sunny Dallas, Texas. I am her manager. I'm the manager of both the Prendergast. Uh, and after tonight's loss for Trent, that continues to go worse and worse. But we're gonna turn it around, baby. We did that by booking a match against a 73-year-old man desperate for money named Rick. Hey, that could be my dad. All right, back to the action. We're gonna hear from Crystal Prendergast in a matter of moments after this match. These two warriors, she's gonna wait for him. Into the rope she goes, he's dazed. He needs to be careful. We're swinging around and around her Karana, and she can smell the farts. And you know what that means, elbow drop. That's what that means, elbow drop. And you're going, it's epic, Dad. He's back for more. The former hardcore champion, Epic Dad, is making a plan and not. He's here to help Big Grease and King Phil. But it's a 3v1 right now into a double power up for Knock as King Phil gestures to the crowd. Oh my God, that's him. That is him, you guys. That is the nature boy, Ricky Flair child. He's here in Guadalajara, Mexico. He doesn't care that he's got a match in a matter of seconds. Frank, you gotta get control of this thing, Frank. Yeah, that's right, Rick, get the hell out of here. You stupid sack of shit. And his highness, what a huge strike. I don't know that Grease can keep up with this level of strike style that not can do, there's a big kick to the head, he sure can't. He's going up top, what goes up? It's gonna come down, splash into a pin. The champs retain, the champs retain, kick out. We got a main event coming up after this that you're gonna, you can't miss. Crystal Prendergast takes on Ric Flair, career versus career, the loser retires from professional wrestling. And speaking of losing, I think, I think they just lost their titles. I think, like, no, Grease got there in time. Because he made kicking out effortless for Big Grease. Here comes that jackknife. Here comes that jackknife. The champs retain. Lightning Bolt got there. As this match is now in the 30th minute. And the sweat's coming down my brow. Knocked with the tag on Lightning Bolt. Grease with the tag on Brawl. The fans are chanting, fight forever. She's too quick for him. She sends him into her corner. They got the advantage in here, Lightning Bolt and Knock Dude. She needs to be careful, they're going up top. It's a high risk maneuver. Harker off the top! It's smart stuff because you know referee Frank McGillicuddy isn't gonna do shit. So you might as well stay out there and create a 2v1 tactical advantage. A series of blows on a big race, but the power! Oh, she reversed it! She reversed it, but the King of Brawl is there! The King of Brawl was there! She had Big Grease scouted, it was incredible wrestling. If somebody were to go to for a submission move here, I can't help but wonder if they would win instantly! And speaking of winning, Frank's checking on the King! KO! The King of Brawl just got knocked out! And 
for the first time ever, new Tag Team Champion, Lightning Bolt and Knox, huge uppercut from Knox under the King of Brawl. And just like that, we have new Tag Team Champion. Special match for your main event tonight, wrestling fans. Where do you start when you talk about the career of Crystal Prendergast? She started it with Girth by Birth. She started it by becoming a hardcore champion, then a tag champion wrestling solo, then a woman's champion, then the world champion. She's the GOAT. She's the boat. Crystal Prendergast, she's putting it all on the line in an incredible spectacle against 73-year-old Ric Flair. Hello, my name is Crystal Prendergast, and oh, fuck it, you know who I am. I am the GOAT. Yeah. So because I've had a few defeats, that knobhead of a manager of mine has decided to put me up against that old relic, uh, Ric Flair. I can't believe I've had to resort to fighting old men in their 70s just so I can get some ones. This isn't how it should be. I should be defending my titles and destroying other people's careers, not my own. If the impossible was to happen and I was to lose to a 73-year-old man, then I think I might have to consider my position in this organisation. Yeah, I think maybe it might be time for a change. Leave the boots in the ring, as you will. Shave the beard. Incredible words! We're gonna get a look at the Nature Boy! Ric Flair, the 17 time world champion, making his way down the dealership floor at this time. And I can tell you who isn't retiring from professional wrestling. It's a six time champion. You see her right here, Crystal Prendergast. Welcome to your main event wrestling, wrestling fans, excuse me, here at Wrestling Wednesday. See Ric Flair in the purple, the blonde hair, Crystal Prendergast, also in the purple, blonde hair. Rick's gonna look to end this on the figure four leg lock. Small programming note, this would actually be the fourth retirement he's causing all the EP, of course, responsible for retiring all the members of the Gang Bang Alliance. Great stuff, Rick. Somebody had to do it. Hard to imagine that we're main eventing Rick Flair, 73-year-old Rick Flair. But then again, this is Guadalajara, Mexico. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm high. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, don't forget, Ric Flair's biggest rival, arguably, in the Associated Leagues is Trent Prendergast. Trent Prendergast has cracked open Ric Flair with a steel chair, if I'm not mistaken, in all of Ric Flair's appearances here in Guadalajara, Mexico. And Crystal Prendergast just got inspired by the idea! Big gut shot from Crystal! Frank's counting, she might need to drop the chair! Crystal choking Rick. Frank was in on it to see if... What, I think we just... She did a big critical shot on the Rick Flair. <laughs> but Rick got up. <laughs> and Rick went for a pen. It's only a one count. She is. She is in true Prendergast form. She landed another chair shot. Krantz and chair shots continue to rain down on the nature boy, Rick Flair. But maybe you can weaken it. Crystal's up top. What goes up? It's got to come down. Leg drop. This is a, it's a Rob Orban. And maybe he helped Crystal once before. He helped Crystal once before. He's clearly here to do it again. Wait, what's happening? The Rob Orban just attacked Crystal. You have your orphan bot teamed up with Rick Flair. She's going up top. Land a big one, baby. Oh, it's a foot stop into the pit. We're done here. Let's go, Crystal. Pit. And there it is, the figure four, we done here. Frank's checking. Is she able to get the ropes? I think she broke out. These two, I mean, it's starting to slow down. They're so exhausted. It's Trent Brenner, guys. It's Trent Brenner, guys. What's he going to attack, Rick? He's got the steel chair. Trent Brenner, guys, and Crystal's got a pin. It may not matter. Swinging a mess from Trent. They landed it. The second one hit. Another one from Trent Prendergast! 
This is incredible stuff, Raz like that. A third shot, a third chair shot from the two-time world champ under Ric Flair. And Ric Flair as he landed a crat. Trent's still attacking him with the chair and it brought Crystal time to recover. Trent might just save this match by help giving Crystal time to recover as he continues to rain chair shots down on the nature boy, Ric Flair. Trent's getting out here. Well done, Prendergast family. Press all huge. Moonsaw, I'm sorry, I'm just so dazed wrestling fans. This is incredible stuff. Frank's down counting. Crystal in the 30th minute. She's got something planned right now. She's going up top. Is this gonna be enough? It's another one of those backflip double stomps off the top turnbuckle. It's incredible stuff. And it just got her another match. Two weeks from today. No, not like this. Not like this, Rick. She's able to get out of it. Locks up. Oh, God. Is he going to go for the pile driver? Look at it. No, no. Pile driver. He did it. He did it. The nature boy. Well, I don't know where it all went wrong, boys. I'm told we're going to get a quick update. Maybe we got good news. Maybe Trent's lawyer got us out of this. Let's get an update from Trent Prendergast. You know, in light of everything that's happened tonight, I feel it's time that I clarified something with all of you. And this is about honesty and integrity and just like being, I don't know, more transparent and open, I guess. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good thing to do. We don't need the headset. I don't need my lines fed to me. This is live. So the first thing that I need to get off my chest is I got this hat from a fan who gave it to me. Okay, um, I stole this hat from a fan who asked me to sign it. Fine, look. I sent the fan into the dealership and I told him if he bought this hat, I would sign it for him. And then I stole it from him. And I, I, I mean, to be fair, I feel like it looks good on me. Give me the fucking statement and um, yeah, look, give me, give me that. And we can get on with this. So, um, in light of everything that's gone on, I have prepared a statement um, about the Prendergast state of affairs. The hardest part of fixing a match is making sure nobody finds out it's fixed. And the easiest part of fixing a match is literally fixing the match. And I have absolutely no fucking idea how Flynn managed to make both parts the impossible part. It's, I don't know, it's like skillful negligence. How hard is it to get a good match for a wrestler that you manage? Um, it's somewhat difficult, to be honest, unless you need connections to either the CEO, or the owner, or the head booker, and you need to have like a good, I don't know, working relationship with the manager of at least one of the wrestlers who will be in the match. Flynn has all of those things. How is this so fucking difficult? And on top of that, there's a wardrobe issue. It's like, the only fucking thing I'm wearing tonight that I like is his hat. And I stole it from a fan. Everything else that I'm wearing, I mean, he just puts me in this. I, I don't get what it's about. The thing is, Greg, when you reached out after my retirement, um, I thought we could have some sort of an olive branch moment. I thought this is like a peace offering. Um, you know, olive branch held out. We both hold it, raise it up. You know, cameras take pictures. Like, oh, look, they made peace. Instead, I kind of get the impression that you just wanted to steal my olives. You get what I'm saying here? Like, I mean, that, that Greg, look, that night at the motel, I could feel the sexual tension in the air. I feel like your ring for Crystal to be missing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure the last sex with your wife was literally just, uh, hey, Trent, look what you're missing. I'm trying to get your attention. The problem is, Flynn, look, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't fuck my staff. And uh, despite how everything else stacks up with your various positions, if you're Trent's manager, you're, um, you're Trent's staff, so I don't fuck my staff, so that, that's just how it is. So anyway, in light of everything that happened, um, my closing statement is, Mr. Flynn, I'm afraid I'm going to have to fire you. And let's just leave it at that. Thanks for watching, everybody, and good night. You know, as soon as this fire goes for I'm gonna, uh, I'll totally fuck you. Just don't tell Crystal.
Well, shit. I got a new sneaky link, but I lost a job. Wrestling fans, thank you for being here. Thank you for spending your Wednesday night here. Thank you for contributing. Thanks for hanging out, guys.